All right, so today I'm going to show you how you can get your amazing app ideas out to market that much faster by implementing two simple and widely used concepts, iteration and MVP. So let's go. Okay, so MVP stands for minimum viable product. And this is something that is essentially the essence of the product that you're trying to create. That is your MVP. And it's also something that often gets talked about when building apps. And it also ties together really well with another prominent concept within app development or software development as a whole, which is to iterate. As a company, you want to create a product as fast as possible and get it out to customers quickly so that you can get feedback and then use that to improve the product. This is an iterative cycle, which is why the process is referred to as iterative. You essentially create a decent product that is the essence of what the product needs in order Order for it to actually be the product and then you release that bare bones version of your product and add in extra features as updates or improvements the idea here being that usually it's difficult to make the first product be a success straight out of the gate so what usually happens is that we get feedback on a product after the launch and then this feedback can be used to improve the future iterations this is where a lot of that Silicon Valley fail fast and fail often kind of comes from if you've heard of it. And what you want to do essentially is you want to release a product that's not quite ready. And then you want to get feedback on that from the users that are using it because inevitably when you release something to users, they'll be able to break it in ways that you weren't able to. And this sort of trial by combat style of making products and iterating on them suits software development and software type products really well. But when it comes to like physical products, then this doesn't work as well because if there's an error or something that doesn't work with a physical product, then this means like you have to contact the manufacturers, you have to cancel orders, and you might even have to like stop uh, production of different things so that you can fix the problems that occur. So this sort of method of using MVPs and like getting something out fast to customers is not as widely used by those sort of companies. With an MVP, the goal is to create something that can be released into the wild as fast as possible. In order to do that, we need to find the absolute essence of our product. Basically remove everything that you can until you get to the point where if you remove one more thing, then it's no longer your product. So let's use an example here to explain this. Imagine that it's 2009 and that you've just come up with the idea for Instagram. How do you go about creating it? You start by writing down the idea that you have, and this is where you may come up with tons of ideas, like being able to see other people's photos, liking photos, messaging people, following people, filters, comments, stories, hashtags, etc. Now, are all these features really needed for this to be Instagram? Not really. The essence of Instagram is not messaging, for instance. That's a side feature that's nice to have, but it's not a necessity. So that does not need to be part of our MVP. Same with stories, not really vital. So this is what you do for all the features that you've come up with. It's also a good idea to score the features by relevance or importance so that in future iterations, you know which features to add first. After doing this, at a certain point, you will have distilled the idea down to the absolute essence. This is now your MVP. Oh, and uh, this video is also sponsored by Trends.co. Trends is the ultimate knowledge hub for information when it comes to creating a startup. When you join, you get access to a community that is built for entrepreneurs, founders, investors, and just generally ambitious people to gather, learn, workshop, and collaborate. It's actually full of a lot of industry leaders. And I say actually because I wasn't expecting there to be real industry leaders here. I feel like that's something that everyone just says, like our community has industry leaders. And then you go there and there aren't really any people of interest in there, but that's not the case here. And that's one of the main reasons that I wanted Trends to sponsor this video. I recognize some of the names and especially some of the names of the companies that these people were involved in, like the co-founder of Udemy and the COO of Athletic Greens are in here. And that's a really cool thing. It's a great resource for you to workshop your ideas and network with other entrepreneurs and investors. And their articles are also a great place to find information that could help you with your own project and also to just get you inspired about building something. One that I found super useful and interesting 
following was this article on the age tech industry. A really interesting read with some great insights. They also have weekly live lectures from experts who teach things like growth strategies, SEO and how to send the perfect cold email and a lot more. Right now you can get your first two weeks for just one dollar. So go to trends.co slash calholden for your one dollar two week trial. I would do it. But the catch here is that you don't want to distill the product down to the point where you, for instance, remove the photo sharing feature of Instagram, because then you basically have no app anymore. So focusing on a core feature set is really the key to creating your MVP. And that's the thing that will help speed up the process of actually creating it. And this is something that's also useful for someone that's not a coder because doing this and going through this process will help you get a list of all the key features that you want to have in your app. And that will then help you once you contact developers to get them to build it because they'll be able to see what the features are and they'll be able to give you a better estimate of how much time that will take and how difficult that will be for them to do. So this is something that's super useful for pretty much everyone. So the main two reasons that you want to create an MVP is to minimize the time to release and thus the risk of competitors launching similar products and to get faster feedback on the core feature set of the app. Response from actual users is invaluable when it comes to creating products. Was it actually a good idea or did no one download it or maybe the people who downloaded it uninstalled it just as quickly it's easy to get caught up in an idea and think that it's great and that everyone would use it only to spend a ton of money and time developing it for no one because there wasn't really that much of an interest in a tinder for fish i really like a quote here by the ceo of stripe when he's talking about building companies and having an idea that doesn't really go all the way there's always a kind of a seductive psychological temptation where if something isn't growing to tell yourself that it's because, well, you know, I haven't invested enough in distribution. Uh, it's kind of harder to sort of come to realize or to tell yourself that, well, maybe our baby is just a bit too ugly. And you want to avoid ending up there as much as you can. And this is done by doing the proper market research beforehand. But even if you do that, even if you take the necessary precautions, you can still end up there. And this is something where thinking of the product in terms of iterations instead of either completely done or not really helps. And it also helps you get to market a lot faster and thus you're able to test it and see whether people like it or not. And that way you're able to see whether you're actually on the right track or not. And a really good example here that I like to use that everyone pretty much uses, but it's a really good one is YouTube. It started out as a dating app and now it's become the biggest video consumption platform that's out there. Basically, they thought they had something and it turned out that they had something completely different, but the completely different thing was really good. That's where like thinking of the product in terms of iterations can really help. And you could be so lucky as to see that maybe you're not stuck with an ugly baby, but maybe your baby is just named Sam and not Frodo. Things are not always as they appear. Okay, anyway, that's it for this one. I really hope that you got something out of this and that you were able to learn something new about MVPs. Maybe get some new ideas on how to start your own app or whatever it is, project that you're working on. But yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.